Test on the mic. Mic check one, two. Huh. Testing, testing. Huh, huh. We out here. We back. Jerry rolling in with that first comment. How you doing? Long time no see. It's been a minute. Hope you're doing good out there. Hey, it is going good. Can't complain. We got those lo-fi jams bumping in the back. Hope everyone is having a happy, happy Friday out there. We are live on both Facebook and YouTube right now for anyone that's wondering in the chat as the stream continues here. Hey, long time no see. Yeah, we back. We out here. I feel like there's always that. It's just like a reoccurring thing where I'm back. Here I am. Then I'm gone again. It's a very, you see it a lot on, on the internet with a lot of creators, but just know I've been grinding. I've been staying busy, been active, but, uh, I just had to hop back on stream for a couple reasons. First and foremost, I miss you guys. You know, it's been way too long. I've been uh, I've been gaming a lot, a lot of gaming still. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big Gears of War fan, Gears of War, Gears Five. But as of uh, most more recent than not, I'm back on Call of Duty. Give it up, y'all! I am back on Call of Duty. I don't know if that's worth clapping for, but uh, it's resurgence because uh, for the longest time we used to only play like the battle royale like the normal version of warzone but the map was just so damn big and there's no action really ever happening for the first 20 30 minutes unless you land in a hot spot but with resurgence a lot more action pack it's a condensed map so i want to get back on you know playing with hey what up beach playing with beach it's been a while since i've seen roy roy bomb the whole stream fam you know i want to get them get them back together if, if it's possible Hey, Beard Master, appreciate that love, Robert. It is going good. Anna says, you watched me for a long time. Well, hey, I'm happy you're here now and, and kicking it with us. I miss life when Songs in Real Life first dropped. I miss Songs in Real Life when it first dropped. What a time to be alive. Yeah, life was, uh, like, it, that was crazy. That was 2011 when I first dropped that, uh, Songs in Real Life. And it just, it, it hit different. It was like a, it didn't, like, go viral off the rip, the first Songs in Real Life. It was more of, like, steady growth, where it was still getting active views, whether it was, like, a thousand or a couple thousand a day. But then it just hit that crazy spark and just popped off like crazy, dude. It was more than grateful over here. Hey, how's it going, Matt? I, I'm doing good over here. You were 18 when that first dropped. I think I was 21. I want to say 20, 21 when I uh, when I was filming it. I was going to uh, going to school. But y'all, we have a. Uh, I partnered with this awesome, awesome platform. I want to turn these uh, lo-fi jams off while I talk about it here. I've been streaming on and off on Facebook and YouTube for, it's been like, I don't even know how long. It's been a long time and we've had partners throughout the years, but never had an actual sponsor for a stream. And as of right now, as of today, y'all, we have a sponsor. Now that's worth, that's worth clapping for. The sponsor is Meaty. It is a video chat, one-on-one, uh, one-on-one video chat with me or different creators like me on the uh, on the platform. Let me pull it up here to make it easier to explain. All right, so this is uh, Meaty. It's a one-on-one uh, video chat service. Let me go over here. So this is when you go to this site. It has a bunch of different uh, influencers, and then there I am, Steve Cardinal, the bikini model. 
Uh, and it's a thing where you can, I have it set to $25 for 10 minutes. That's as low as I could go. I couldn't go any lower. Um, but it's just uh, a thing where you can possibly call me maybe if you're feeling crazy, if you want to chat beyond the stream and have a video call. I may or may not be making a, a video with a, all the calls that come in, but it's going to be a one-year partnership starting from now until next uh, July of 2024. So if anyone's feeling inclined to call me, maybe you now have the opportunity, but no pressure. I just want to thank Meaty for being the first ever sponsor on this uh, stream here. So one more time, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. It's so dope. Hell yeah. All right, now we are going back to our regular stream here. Thank you again, Meaty. The lo-fi jams. Bring those lo-fi jams back. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Brando. Yeah, thank you. Not to be too repetitive, but thank you, Meaty. When I saw the opportunity come my way, I'm just like, hell yeah, because I work with... One of the um, the person I was talking to behind uh, behind this launch, I worked with her before. It was a really smooth collab, so I saw this come around. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, we'll make it an organic thing. So I just filmed like a little promo video for it. I plan on posting that tomorrow if all goes well. But uh, yeah, I couldn't be I couldn't be more happy. And then uh, I'm also been planning and like getting it together where I'm going to be launching a a new podcast. Uh, I started a podcast a while back. It kind of didn't go as planned, but very soon here, I'm launching a new podcast with my lovely uh, Tia Sativa. We're going to be talking about movies and just smoking weed. It's kind of like a movie review podcast and also reviewing weed, and I can't, I can't get the title just yet. I want to, you know, keep it under wraps, but just know that's going to be launching soon is another good way to kind of stay connected, um, but... Like, one thing I've always loved doing is I'm always watching movies. Anyone that knows me, you know, I'm always watching watching something. Uh, and even when I'm having a conversation with people, I, I tend to always go back to, uh, what are you guys, like, what are you watching? What's going on in your life? What are you watching? If the conversation ever goes, like, stale or boring, I always go back to kind of like, what, what's on your Netflix? What's on your Amazon? So I kind of want to use that and, like, build off of that and have that be the main base for the podcast and of course we can venture off and talk about really anything but i want to have that be the main the main base so if anyone out there if you like movies you like tv shows and you like you like smoking weed if it's legal where you are well hey that's what uh, we're going to be doing here very soon hey what up zim cheers and much much love But yeah, sometimes if someone's watching something really shitty, it's just like, what are you watching? Oh, it's something really bad. Well, I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> no, it's not like that. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot we've been watching here lately. So with how fast life is moving, it's hard to kind of uh, pinpoint what all we're watching. So another reason why I really want to do this podcast is just a way to like kind of look back and see what I watched for like in that time. And I know there's websites for it, but I want to document it with like a visual thing. And I plan on streaming again tomorrow uh, morning, tomorrow afternoon. And I may or may not be hopping on some Call of Duty, possibly Gears of War. But again, y'all, I want to get back into the swing of, like, playing with some of the stream fan because it's been so dang long. Do you remember the first video? I can't believe it's been 13 years. The happiness that it has had. It. So I'm just reading out loud. Hell yeah. I, do, I have not played uh, the new Diablo. But uh, I hear it's good. It's not really my kind of game. And so I don't, I'm sure I could enjoy it if I started playing it, but, uh, look, I just got back into Call of Duty. I can't keep branching off and trying all these different games, you know? Hey, how's it going, Laura? Pavel, welcome, welcome. You watch Grey's Anatomy. 
It's not legal to smoke where you are, but you still you still love it. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. I'm just very happy it is legal. It's recreational to smoke over here. I don't even need my doctor's orders anymore. I don't even need it. I can just show up my license at my local dispensary and say, hey, I want the ganja. I want the legal amount of ganja I can carry, and I'm out of here. Yes, we are finally, finally streaming on, on YouTube as well as Facebook right now. The last uh, movie I watched, um, I watched the Influ I think it's called Influencer the or the Influencer, one of the two. It's on uh, the Shudder where it's a app all really focused on horror movies. And that's really one of my favorite genres, like B-list horror films, that kind of vibe. But this one, it was it was really good. Me and Tia really enjoyed it. So if you have Shudder, I'd highly recommend watching Influencer. Um, what else have you watched? In theaters, I watched Little Mermaid when that came out opening day. It's been so, like it came out a while back, but it's been so long since we were chatting like this. But yeah, I watched Little Mermaid. I really enjoyed it. However, I didn't enjoy. It was opening day, so this is bound to happen. I should have known better. But opening day, I went during like a matinee show up, you know, what was it, like 5 or 6 p.m. One of the earliest shows, <clears throat> excuse me, and there were a lot of kids in the show. So I'm like, shit, it's probably going to be noisy. And sure enough, it was, like a, it was like a playground. It wasn't like the whole theater being loud. It was just like a few rows behind us. It was uh, a mother with like a few of her kids. And this mom, like the kids were like screaming, running around, making... Maybe not running around. It, it sounded like it. But they were making so much noise, like legit screaming. And uh, the mom wasn't like containing. Like I would look I would look back to see what the mom was doing. And the mom was just sitting there like letting the kids be loud as loud as hell. Uh, so I we got like about like I want to say 15, 20 minutes in. And there's like, a really quiet scene. And they were being so loud. So I'm just like, all right, this is my cue to be like, shh. So it started off as me going, shh. And then it led to, shut up. Shut it down. <laughs> and then the friend that I was with is like, yeah, can you please keep your kids quiet? This is so rude kind of a vibe. But then you're looking at it like from, you know, a month later. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, yeah, it's like a daytime show for a, a Disney kids movie. But still, if you're going to be a parent, you know, keep your kids quiet or don't bring your kids to the movie if you can't contain your children. But even it's not even, a you know, even parents are talking during movies, too, sometimes. You know, some people just don't know how to shut the hell up, you know? And then uh, I saw, what else did we see? So we saw Little Mermaid. There's another one I saw in theaters more recent than now. I'm trying to think what it was. It might come back to me. But, yeah, I just don't like people that talk during movies. I can, I can get behind the occasional, like, is that so-and-so or... Making a few comments about certain things, but people that I like, talk throughout the whole entire movie is just so annoying, dude. And if you have children out there, keep your kids quiet if you're going to the movie. But if you were born talking, if you if you grew up talking in movies and you had children, so they're gonna grow up the same way you did. There's no stopping it, huh? Uh, yeah, I forget what movie it was. It'll come back to me, but. The last show we went to, oh, it was uh, the Flash, the new Flash movie. A lot of uh, a lot of Batman cameos in that one. But uh, yeah, we got there early. We were like the middle, the middle row. We get there, you know, we're eating, you know, we're getting watching our uh, the trailers, eating our snacks, enjoying the popcorn, sipping on a nice cold icy. And then um, there's people on. It's a very crowded theater. It's opening day when it comes out, you know. And there's people on both sides of us of our group and uh, a party comes in they're like hey is there any chance like we could like switch seats because we're in this big group of people and we all want to sit together and in my mind I'm thinking why do they all want to sit together are they going to be talking the whole time no they're not going to be rude enough to talk right they, I give they just want to like all sit together we've all been there kind of a thing so I'm like all right yeah let's get up we'll scoot down give them a whole row where they can be together sure enough they're talking the whole fucking movie, and these are grown-ass adults, probably, like, in their mid to late 20s, just talking the whole time. And it's just like, dude, we gave you our middle row seats so you, you could be together. For what? So you could fucking be talking the whole time? Jeez! I'm done giving people seats in the theater. That never happens, but the one time it does happen, 
People suck, dude. People in the movie theater, like, legit suck. And I could ramble all day. But, yeah, like, movies, I'm uh, very passionate about just getting lost in entertainment, like, escaping the hectic world. Sometimes life can be pretty hectic, you know? So to watch something and escape from, you know, that reality, it's very important. It's almost a necessity for a lot of people, including myself. But then you have these jerks. You have these people in the theater that don't understand how to shut their mouth. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to come on here and just... I didn't think I was going to get so heated, man. <laughs> but this is what the podcast is going to be. A lot of talking about movies and talking about how people suck in the theater. They should shut their mouth. There should be a death penalty for people to talk in the movie theater. So you're gonna, you might hate me. Uh, you're not going to hate me. Hopefully not, Brando. But I haven't seen the new uh, Mario movie yet. I have a list of uh, movies that I want to watch here very soon. Mario is one of them. But yeah, I've been slacking for, for some of the animated movies. Jamie says Diablo 4 is pretty okay. Yeah, I have friends that play it. They say they uh, they really enjoy it. I would say I would check it out, but there's already so many games out there. I have like I have like five or six games on the Switch that I've only played for like five minutes and never went back to. So before I invest in any more games like Diablo 4, I gotta probably go back and play my Nintendo Switch games. Yeah, if I miss any of the chat, thank you for uh, for defending me, Jack. Yeah, the stream isn't that popular, but uh, yeah, I'll miss some stream. I'll miss some of the comments as I'm talking here and there. That's gonna happen. That's okay. Thank you again, Jack, for uh, for being awesome. Jack says talking kids in the movies is like a crying kid on a plane. Well, I will. So I will. Yeah, sitting next to a crying baby on a plane. Look, we've been there. That shit sucks. But, you know, people got to travel. Sometimes shit happens in life and you got to travel unexpectedly or whatever the case is. It, that makes more sense. It does suck. But you don't like you don't bring a crying baby to a theater. I have been in a theater where they have brought a baby to a theater. And shame on those parents because that's just it's just too much. But, uh, yeah, it's just kids like children in a movie theater. I blame the parents. As, as much as I want to yell at the kids, when we were mad, we were just yelling at the parents, the parent the whole time. And they probably left that theater and like they never even looked back at how rude they were kind of a thing. But she was alone with her children, so I'm, I'm assuming she's living alone the rest of her life kind of a thing. Like no partner uh, kind of a vibe because she just sucks. <laughs> am I basing her parenting skills just on that movie alone? Of course I am. Keep your kids quiet or don't go to the movies, lady. The opening scene in Little Mermaid, not a spoiler if you haven't seen it, but the opening scene in Little Mermaid, all it shows is an overhead of the ocean and there's waves crashing like into the rocks. And uh, just for that scene alone with the waves crashing, the kids, like imagine you're at Chuck E. Cheese or like a McDonald's playhouse. When that scene's playing for the opening like second, the kids are just screaming, ah! And it didn't go away. They kept going loud the whole time. So the my friend that I was with, we kind of like, all right, like they're excited. Let's give it time, you know, like let's ease into the movie. They it kept going the whole time. So yeah, I, like I said, I got to that point in the theater where I'm just like, can you shut shut up, shut it down, keep your kids quiet, please. Uh, eventually we, they it, they tamed it down a little bit, but for the most part, that was like a they were like steady loud the whole entire time. And unfortunately, I did enjoy. The new Little Mermaid remake more than I enjoyed uh, the Lion King remake by far. I still think I enjoyed the Beauty and the Beast remake the most, but Little Mermaid was still good. It just sucks how when I look back at that movie, all I'm talking about, all I think about the most is these movie talkers, the people that fucking ruin movies. Hello, Justin. Good to have you join us. Welcome, welcome. Cheers and much love, everybody. There was a kid in the theater with me and my friend seeing Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 3. No crying or anything. Yeah, Laura, it's not... Look, I've been... I've spent 
a lot of money <laughs> on going to the movies. When I lived in L.A., I used to go like three times a week. I was always looking for a movie to watch, even if it was a movie I didn't want to see. So I have a lot of experience where, you know, people of all ages can be very well behaved in the movie theater. It's just every now and then you get a really bad experience. And it just so happened I had back-to-back -back really bad movie experiences from Little Mermaid to The Flash. And it's just like, dude, we're dropping like 30, 40 bucks just to go out to see these movies and have these snacks. And you fuckers don't know how to... Be polite or how to raise your children properly? God. Oh, yeah, that new TMNT movie looks so sick, man. That animation, I love that style of animation. They had to take a good chunk of time. I, and I believe Seth Rogen is one of the producers on it. So dang cool. Can't wait to see that one. Uh, what else did we do recently? We I went to, uh, me and Tia traveled to, we went to visit friends out in Texas. That was my first time ever going to Texas. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we were out there for not too long, but uh, our friends live li right near a really good margarita spot, a margarita bar. And uh, I kept telling people when I was out there, hey, like, this is my first time in Texas. I'm pretty excited kind of a thing. But then we, we went to the same margarita spot like three or four times. I think it was three times. But every time I was there, I'm like, hey, this is my first time in Texas, but it's my second time at this spot. <laughs> or, hey, this is my first time in Texas, but this is my third time at the bar. People were getting a kick out of it. I was having fun. We, we got to visit uh, visit Dallas, and it definitely calls for another another visit. That's for dang sure, because you can't see it all in one visit. I got to go back to the margarita spot like five more times. Yeah, see, that's what I, I think uh, Little Mermaid is where I draw the line going forward when it comes to, you gotta, yeah, like you say, Jamie, you gotta avoid the uh, the daytime showing, because that's when, you know, all, like, the parents will bring their kids, but this was, like, I want to say between, like, around six or seven, it was, like, the first, the first viewing for when the movie first came out, so it wasn't that early kind of a, kind of a thing, but I do agree with what you're saying, like, going forward, I cannot go to a theater like that early anymore, especially for a PG movie. And also, too, any any Kevin Hart movie. I had to walk out of a Kevin Hart movie, not because it was so bad, but because the person next to me was just so obnoxious. It was one of those dine-in movie theaters. I talked about it a while back, but it's just still so fresh in my memory. It's one of those dine-in movie theaters where you're supposed to get there early, like, before or during preview so you can order your meal so I, that's when i tend to get there right but the people next to me like there's two empty seats so it's just like oh like i'm gonna have more like stretching room during this movie nope they walk in like five or ten minutes after the movie starts and then of course they're going through the menu as a movie's playing and they're like going through ordering everything with like with their flashlights looking at everything being loud as hell not like trying to whisper or anything then once they finally put their order in without even really watching what jokes are being said, they go right into just laughing at unfunny parts. Maybe maybe I don't understand Kevin Hart humor. I thought I did. This is more about like short jokes and being short and stuff like that. But like without even like watching the full scene, they just go into full blown like, like can I say fake laughing? It wasn't even like real laughing. It was just like the, man, I could ramble about movie talkers all day, but I'm just gonna stop it here before I get too heated. Thank you again, Meaty, for the uh, this amazing sponsor. You guys are awesome. If anyone wants to give me a video call from now until uh, next year, the phone lines are open. We can schedule a call. It's kind of like uh, scheduling, like when you break your iPhone, you got to take it to the Apple Store. You schedule like a uh, an appointment. Same kind of thing. You can schedule a call with me like months from now. So a link to that in the video description. 
But again, no pressure. No one has to call. This is just a really cool opportunity that came my way. So I'm like, hey, you know what? Call me maybe, baby. <laughs> Dang right, Jamie. I just might have to have to write a book. But again, my uh, the podcast we're going to be launching here soon. The whole focus is on movies, so I'm sure that's going to come up quite a bit. Hey, how you doing, everyone? That's just joining. Hello, hello. So I used to have a strong like when I first experienced a dining theater. I loved it because it was so different. But now that it's more common. And we don't really have any around us here now, but back in L.A., they were popping up left and right. And uh, that's where I had my really bad Kevin Hart experience, plus many more. But Kevin Hart was by far the worst movie experience with uh, people next to me. But, yeah, just something you got to avoid. I'm going to avoid altogether just because people are so loud at, at dining movie theaters. They'll be ordering during the movie. Get out of here. And if you're going to order, at least like be quiet, whisper, hey, I'll have the nachos. By the way, nachos are the worst thing to order during movies. I've had nachos during movies. I've been with friends that have had nachos during movies. The problem is you can't eat nachos quietly. If you try to eat nachos quietly, you're making more noise than than normal kind of a thing, you know? But, uh, yeah, I just went with a friend. He was just chomping on some nachos, and it's just like, dude, I don't want to get mad at you for eating, but I'm mad at you for eating your nachos right now. Greetings from Germany. Hello, hello, Dan. It's good to have you roll through. I'm very happy you guys are here right now, you know, for being gone for, I don't even know, it's been over a month. Um, I'm just very grateful that you guys are still out here kicking it, showing that love. Appreciate you big time. Oh, the pickle smell. Hey, look, I love me a good pickle. I also love... That didn't sound that didn't sound the best, but hey, look, I love I love me a good pickle. Uh, when it comes to drinks, like the pickleback, dude, the the JMO, I love the pickleback shots. We actually went on like a pickle uh, kick. We've been buying uh, a good bit of pickles. Hey, Joker, what's up? What's up? How you doing, Ruben? Hello, hello. Man, we've already been live for a half hour. Time is just cruising on by, huh? Just cruising on by. So everyone that's kicking it, anything, uh, what's, what are y'all watching? Anything exciting going on out there that we can talk about before we log off the stream here today? Again, we will be back tomorrow if anyone wants to uh, come back or maybe you miss the stream, you're watching the highlights, kind of a vibe. I will be back tomorrow afternoon, maybe tomorrow morning if, if I wake up early enough, kind of a vibe. Cody, it's going good. Cody, how you doing? Hey, appreciate that love, Ruben. Thank you, thank you. Geeky, Ayo, Ayo, Ayo. It makes me think of that Logic song, Ayo. Great song off his, uh, I believe his new album. Robo, Terminator, everything is going good. I uh, Before we went, we went to Texas just recently. And before Texas, I had a, I had a pretty good, let me turn these lo-fi jams down just a little bit. I had a pretty good steady uh, diet going. I was down five pounds. It was just a, I cut out carbs, and I've been taking a break from, uh, well, today was a cheat day, but I've been taking a break from the, the soda pop here, because I can, I can down two cans a day, no problem. So I cut out the, the soda pop, and I cut out carbs. I still have my, my cheat meals, and it's not like a crazy diet. I'm just trying my best to like watch what I eat. I lost five pounds, but then I went to Texas, gained those five pounds back pretty much. But uh, still, I'm still sweating. I'm still moving a lot more. I feel like... I feel like I, I'm just, I feel, I feel lighter though. You know, I feel healthy. I've been walking about five miles a day, um, sometimes six miles a day on the treadmill. And, um, uh, I just, I, I've been loving, loving the workout. So that's kind of where I've been at a good mental, you know, physical state of mind, you know, 
Yeah, the Twisted Metal, uh, the show, right? I saw that. That's going to be coming out here soon. Oh. There we go. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oh, the background. Thank you. Yeah. I, I've had many uh, back backdrops for my uh, stream, but this is the most like, I think it's dope. I have some of my favorite things on that shelf behind me. Appreciate that love. Yeah, Joker. Uh, I've seen Logic. I've seen Logic a few times. I've seen him a few times live. He's a great. I love his music, but like seeing him live is just. I saw him uh, during when he dropped his Bobby Tarantino, the first album for Bobby Tarantino, man. Like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That was crazy. I think that's when he was with uh, g Easy on tour. Uh, that was just such a really good show. Such a great show. I've been going through a J. Cole kick, you know, because when you're on the treadmill for five miles a day, you tend to go through a lot of playlists, a lot of music. So I've been doing a deep, deeper dive through J. Cole. Because all I really known like was his like radio songs for the most part. So J. Cole and a few other artists, I've just been going down like a deep, a deep rabbit hole of all this music. Dream Glitch YouTube says, what happened to songs in real life? So uh, very popular question for anyone that... <laughs> It's sick of me answering that question over the years. I'm sorry, but I do got to answer it. I'll answer it just this one time on the stream here. Um, Songs in Real Life isn't a profitable series. It features a lot of copyrighted music. So I uh, I kind of migrated away from Songs in Real Life. Uh, I do plan on making more as time goes on, but it's not uh, a priority right now just because it's more money being spent and no money coming back in return kind of a vibe. But I love, you know, this series on, and, and where it is. Uh, it's crazy to know how, how many views that series has. A lot of the views came in early back in like 2011 through 2014 when the series was uh, popping. But I'm still very grateful for it. Grateful for all the eyeballs and everyone that's been sharing it. Uh, but for I think for a while now it's going to be kind of pushed, pushed to the side. And then maybe one day, one day when the time's right we'll uh, be able to bring it back. Oh, you haven't been able to go to a Logic concert yet? Well, hey, in due time, you got to go. His most recent tour, I didn't go, but uh, this was the first first tour in a while for him where it was more like a smaller scale, smaller venue, so it's a lot more up close and personal. Uh, and, he, and he said that it was his favorite favorite tour by you know so far, so that's what's up. Maybe he'll do more of those. <clears throat> Can you do a backflip? Not if I... No, I don't want to die. I, I actually attempted a backflip on an old YouTube video from forever ago. You can find it on YouTube somewhere. But yeah, that's my first time ever attempting a backflip. Uh, what, what's it called? I'll, I'll look it up here real quick. I don't want to leave you hanging. All right, so I uh, it's called Foam Pit Living Room. I posted it nine years ago on my second channel, and in that video, I attempt to do a uh, backflip. Spoiler alert, I can't do it. I try, but I don't do it right. I'm sure if I commit, I could do it, but I, I'm not in a stage of my life where I want to try doing backflips. I'm gonna, I already got I already got a pretty bad neck. I don't want to, like, <laughs> cause any more damage, you know? We're going to just keep it easy. Smoke some weed, take it easy. And again, y'all, we smoke legally over here. So, again, take it easy, keep it easy, keep it cool. And if you're at the movie theater, don't talk. Don't talk during the movie theater, all right? Don't talk during the movie at the movie theater. Thank you. 
if you find yourself like being super loud at a movie theater, like being loud, like you're, you're disrupting the the moviegoers, do me a favor and just like walk yourself to the nearest police station and just turn yourself in and say, look, I fucking suck. Lock me away or give me a death penalty because I was just talking and ruining a movie for everybody else. Do us all a favor. Oh, geez. The gospel of JC came in with a bunch of uh, spam. How do I ban this person? I don't know if I can do it right now, but gospel of JC, get out of here. Uh, yeah, New uh, New Orleans is still uh, medical, uh, not medical. Yeah, it's only medical, but it's probably only a matter of time till Louisiana gets recreational, and that's going to be awesome. I can only imagine how many crawfish-style packaging they're going to have for, uh, for flour. Sunshine, Kitty, you the best, and that's a great, a great username. Love it. I just, I've always loved the word sunshine. And sunshine in front of kitty, it just works. It's A-OK -okay in my book. Don't tell me what to do. What up, Bo? Amanda of Saints, 725. Hello, hello. I'm sorry if I missed anyone during this stream but just know everyone that is here that's just stopping by i appreciate you what is my favorite lego set see i've never got too big into uh into legos so i can't i can't answer that with a with anything fun you know what's next for me uh it's gonna be uh, that burp thank you excuse me uh, that burp as well as what's next is there another one Oh, there is! Three bears is what's next for me. Woo! Thank you. But uh, creatively on on the internet, it's going to be a podcast. I'm not going to give the title of the name just yet because I'm trying to land. I'm trying to do a few things on the back end before we, before we launch it. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a weed and movie review podcast. And it's going to be so dope. We're going to be just steady smoking. We're going to be chilling, talking about movies. And talking about really whatever, but that's, again, the main base of what it's going to be about. And uh, we, we may be taking caller like during as we progress on this uh, podcast. I hope to get to a point where we take calls like during the podcast, during the recording, so people can call in. And uh, we record it, and like they can say what they're watching or you know what's going on, what like what weed they're smoking, any good show. It's kind of a thing. So if you ever want to call in, just stay tuned for that. Jamie, I am on. Uh, you're on Facebook right now, so I'm on both Facebook and YouTube. Those tend to be my main ones. Occasionally Twitch. And when this, uh, speaking of weed, when this stream ends, I'm about to go dab it up, get a few dabs in, light me a little J, a pre-roll. But yeah, even, yeah, I just, look, <laughs> we talk about weed a lot, but we're smoking every day over here, y'all. It's just the way it is. It's just what, it, it's just how it goes. Also, my edible tolerance has skyrocketed unfortunately i used to only take like a 10 milligram but now it's like an average of i gotta take at least 40 milligrams kind of a thing but my my bow in the uh in the chat here he's he's taking like 100 milligrams you crazy dude you're crazy if i'm taking 100 milligrams i'm going right to bed
Did you just say Songs in Real Life 6? When is Songs in Real Life 6 coming out? I've been having Songs in Real Life 6 already posted. I have 7 out too. Both Songs in Real Life 6 and 7 and 8 are all live on my YouTube page right now. So leave this stream and go watch it. What are you doing? Hey, see, that's what's up, Jamie. Yeah, YouTube and Facebook is where I spend a lot of my time. I watch a lot on YouTube. I probably watch more YouTube than I watch TV. Just to kind of, like, stay updated, see what's going on, what's popping out there. <laughs> when is Songs During Life 2 coming out? I don't know, Vaughn. By the way, Vaughn, hello. We love you. Good to see you. But all right, y'all, we're going to be wrapping up the stream here shortly because all that weed talk, I got to go smoke. We, we got to go light it up. But let's do another uh, another cheers. We're going to be going live on stream tomorrow. Cheers, cheers. Going live on stream tomorrow, but I'm, I plan on being live earlier, in, like in the morning because I got like a three-hour drive later in the day. So this might be one of my first ever early morning streams. So stay tuned for that if anyone wants to kick it then. If you got nothing going on on, the, on your fine Saturday morning. But yeah, Jamie, have, have a good night. Uh, wait, Vaughn, what are you saying? You need answers? Oh, yeah. With TikTok, TikTok is uh, it's the same as Instagram. Like I'm on Instagram a lot as well. Uh, and Instagram and TikTok are the, are very similar when it comes to like the reels and videos, because everyone posts the same videos on all platforms. But like, it sucks. Like, you know, we we can all fall into that deep like, you get lost in the the scroll. You know, you just keep you keep going. It's healthy to be away from that. So props to you, Jamie, for not falling into the the quicksand and getting stuck for life. But it is very healthy to take the breaks and not like get caught up in that system. But I do love my my fair share of uh, Instagram videos and, and TikToks. Hey, you're awake at 6 a.m.? Well, hey, we'll see you sometime long after that. Because <laughs> 6 a.m., that's too early for me. But uh, all right, y'all. Hey, have a good night. Much love. Everyone that's been kicking it, thank you, thank you. And thank you again, Meaty, for sponsoring this stream and for the awesome, awesome opportunity. And hell yeah, y'all. We'll be uh, catching you. On tomorrow's stream. Cheers and much love. Have a good night. And I'm going to be gaming here. Post stream. Playing some Gears of War and Call of Duty. So anyone that has me on your friends list. Hit me up y'all. Hit me up. We catching those dubs tonight. After I smoke weed. <laughs>